everyone, welcome back. I wanted to jump on and do an impromptu video. We had um, someone pull up this morning and give a knock at the door when we went out there. She is a friend of ours from the community, I guess you'd say, and I've gotten to know her. She comes to visit at my job and comes to some of the events there and um, also follows me on my uh, podcast. And she just wanted to do a random act of kindness. And I don't know how old she is, but she's older, like older. And Edith, if you're watching, I don't know if you watch my YouTube videos or if you just watch my podcast, but if you're watching this, thank you from the Wilsons. We really appreciated it. So let me show you, she stopped over. And you know, this is somebody older who, <clears throat> Always prays for our family, prays for Graham with the seizures. And she gave me a beautiful card and just a little sediment on the inside. And she said to my husband, who greeted her at the door, I just wanted to give the Wilsons a little something. And I, you know, it's interesting how so many times I got to do something. And, I, and I, I brought this up. Remember the chocolate cake? And I said, is it enough? If you caught that video. And is it enough? Yes, it is enough. And here this woman who's older, who's a widow, who walks with a cane, who could barely walk, um, pulled together some things in two little plastic bags and wanted to drop them off to the Wilson family because she cares enough about us. And I, it just blew my mind that, you know, when somebody takes their time money they're spending money on you that's their own money they put thought behind it i don't care what it is they give you it was a gift and this was a random act of kindness so here's what she brought us got some brown rice minute rice got a suddenly salad got a rice aroni this reminds me of older people i i had to crack up um, some Dove chocolates and a bag of peppermints. I don't know why. It just reminds me of something my grandmother would have done. Some ranch dressing. That was in the one bag. Again, this is stuff she put together. Now, this is a pretty, you know, a heavy enough bag. And I don't know how she carried both bags because she can barely walk. So what else did she give us? Sliced peaches, chicken noodle soup, manwich, and some beef broth. How kind is that? I, I just, it's enough. It's enough. Just the fact that she thought of us, she put a card in there, she put those peppermints in a little Ziploc bag. I just was so taken back. I thought it was the coolest thing that she came over to our house. And then I had another person who, one of those things where you, um, you gifts that you just don't expect. So hold, I gotta hold on to those and show you those. But somebody decided to do a gift for me that just were friends but not friends I don't know how to explain it but she put together this package for me and I'm in love with it I had to show it to you so she did hot chocolate on a stick and on the one side it says hot chocolate and the other side it's on a popsicle stick it says mix with milk so you can buy these I guess I have to look this up on um, What's the Pinterest to learn how to make them? She has mini marshmallows. I've never seen mini marshmallows that tiny. And it's hot chocolate. Just mix it with, I guess you could do water, but I probably would do milk and stir it up and you've got hot chocolate. And then she gave me, I'm guessing, this is like white chocolate with, looks like cranberries and nuts and a bag of those. Isn't that cute? And then, I don't know what this is, white chocolate, but I'm guessing it maybe is an Oreo dipped in 
but it's quite big. I don't know. I don't know what it is, but we'll have fun trying it out and see what's in it. This is adorable. This is just a candle, vanilla, but check this out. You take a, let's see where it goes. Look at that. Painted a little face, added a little ribbon bow, a plain white candle, and look what you can do with that. Look at that. Is that not stinking cute? Okay. What else is in here? Then I got a little spoon, peppermint spoon. I can use that to stir up in my hot chocolate. And then I got a chapstick, fruit smoothies, berry explosion chapstick. Cute little bag. And then look what she made me. I'm really getting into crocheting myself these days. I'm getting back into crocheting. I used to crochet a lot and kind of got away from it. But look at this headband she crocheted. Isn't that gorgeous with the twist? Look at that. To see, you know, that somebody took the time to crochet that, bought the wool, took her time, crocheted it, so now I have, you know, a headband when I go out in the cold. You don't always feel like a regular hat. I've got a headband. But that, thank you, Ruthie, if you're watching. I don't know if you watch my videos, but I want to thank you that you took the time to make that just for me. I, like, I just, I know how much time this stuff takes. And that somebody thought enough of me to do something like this. I need to say thank you. I have been getting a ton of Christmas cards from so many of you. I want to thank you for that. I am not really good at showing you guys all the stuff that I get. I try and do that once in a while, and I apologize. I got two different carols that sent me cards, and I don't know the last name. Um, I couldn't pronounce either one of them, to be honest with you. But thank you for those. I got one from a Susan, and I need to show you. These two just came. So this is from the Smiths in Colorado, and they sent me this cute, cute card, and I'm going to just whoop, put it up real quick because I don't want to show the picture, but it says, Dearest Lynn and Graham, may our Lord richly bless you during the season of Christmas and always. Thank you for bringing joy and friendship into our lives with love, Carol and Ben Smith. Thank you so much for that card. I need to gather all my cards and just give a shout out to you guys. And I apologize. I am, I got to work on that. That's something I, I have to work on in the new year is just making sure I recognize you guys. Margaret, 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 Margaret's the one that sent me those beautiful gift tags. I actually gave, I need to tell you, I took one of them with a little pocket and I gave it to someone yesterday and I put a little money in there. And they're going through some rough times, and I put some money in there, and I said, I want this Christmas season for you to go out and do something special for yourself. And they, I think, forget the money. I think they liked gift tag more than the fact that I gave them some money. But wanted you to know your first gift tag has been received, well received. They loved it. But let me show you what Margaret sent me. So... Got a lovely note here. Dear Lynn, I am sending you a folded but not taped or glued piece to show you how to fold the pouch. I hope this helps you all. The trims, like the brilliance I buy at the Dollar Tree, some borders I cut from scraps of my own colored pieces or parts from cards. Whatever I can reuse, I try to do that. If you need any help, you can call me and she left me her number. I'll be glad to help you with whatever you might need. Have a blessed day, Margaret. How considerate, Margaret, that you gave me your phone number. I I will, I have to fess up. I had someone else send me their phone number and she said, oh, please call me, I wanna talk to you. It is someone that watches my channel who was another YouTuber. And I need to tell you, and you're probably all gonna say, what, you're crazy, but I, it's true. I am very much an introvert. Um, I can get on here and talk on the camera. I could talk to you guys. I'm very comfortable that way, but I truly am an introvert. I just freeze up one-on-one. -on -one. I don't know how to have a conversation. I can go on stage when I'm at work and I can perform and do everything that I need to do. And then when I step down, it's even when I speak, I can speak and I have spoken to 
a uh, thousand women before and I, at a conference and I can get up there and do my thing. But when I get off the stage and I exit left or exit right, I'm, I don't, I'm like, I don't know what to say to people. My son who's a preacher is the same way. We can get up there and do what we need to do. But then when we get down around individuals, we're not we're kind of, uh. so I might text you. I don't know if I'll call because whew, that's a big step for me, but that's not to say I do, do, do so appreciate that. So if I um, ever get, you know, stuck, I will probably call you. But in the meantime, I got your number here. But look what she sent me. Oh, my, the glare. Let's see. There we go. So if you saw the gift tags the other day, but look at that. She wrote on all the instructions. I am in love. So I need to tell you, Margaret. I was talking yesterday in my other video that I had gone to the thrift stores in Pennsylvania and they had tons of Christmas cards and they had like 10 cards for 20 cents and then they were in clearance for half off so there were 10 cents so it was a penny a piece and I was like almost hyperventilating and I'm like okay time out I put an email out to all the staff where I work and I said anybody when you get ready to throw out your Christmas cards don't give them to me I just need the front cover I want to work on some projects for next year so I figured after Christmas, you know, all this stuff will be on clearance. I'll hit the thrift stores and I'll start collecting them and, and my own stuff as well to work on some of these cards because I was so impressed by these gift tags that she did. I loved them. I absolutely loved them. But I don't want to just do Christmas. I want to do year-round and it, I can use up my scraps that I have and all that. I was looking for more. I wanted to go with more of a vintage look, you know, something that looked like Hummel, kind of, you know, the old Hummels that you collected, that kind of vintage look. And um, I didn't see anything in the cards there, but give me an excuse. I might have to go back to Pennsylvania and do some more shopping. So for me, Pennsylvania is home. I know it sounds crazy. I was born and raised in New Jersey, but every time I go out to Pennsylvania, there's just something about it. I feel like that's where my heart belongs. And the areas out there, we had all the thrift shops. Love it out there. Maybe one day, I don't know how many of you are from the Lancaster area, Anyone else go to the reuse it's out there? Maybe one day we could do a meetup in the spring. I'd love to do that. And uh, I go with my, as they say, you know, the young people say, I go with my peeps and we go out there and we do thrift shopping. Usually there's a gang of us. I, I kind of started this many years ago and we go out four times a year and we hit all the thrift stores and do all the things. And we usually go the Monday before Thanksgiving and we didn't do it this year. Just things were crazy for all of us, but we'll probably... I'm thinking maybe in March, head out and do that. But anyway, maybe we could do a meetup, get to connect with you guys. But I wanted to say, listen, this holiday season, this week of Christmas, the week of New Year's, or there's 365 days in the year, 52 weeks in a year. All that time, think of an RAK that you can do, a random act of kindness. Giving somebody a bag of groceries with a Christmas card made my day. Like that was just wonderful. A gift bag filled with treats and, and a hand crocheted item. Now, you don't have to be that elaborate. You could go very, very simple. But these are the things that make a difference in somebody's life. And if you receive those things, make sure you're thankful. Make sure you're grateful. Make sure you take the time to say thank you. Sometimes I forget. And, I, you know, it's not like I intentionally am not grateful. My mind, I'm grateful. My heart, I'm grateful. I tell everybody, I tell my husband, and I'm so excited, and then I forget to go back. And, you know, there's something in the Bible that talks about only that one went back. And there were many healed, and only one went back to say thank you. And, ooh, that sets the tone of, you know what, how ungrateful of a people we are that only one would go back and say thank you. So I need to work on that better for the new year. Thanks for coming over. Don't forget to have a Merry Christmas. And I appreciate you guys being here. We'll catch you all on the next video.